these are the gospel pieces that I'm going to talk you through and how they came about. So I don't necessarily know what it is that I'm painting until it's been painted, unless the Lord has told me beforehand, like maybe given me an instruction in my mind or given me a prophetic word. I have been blessed with the ability to paint people, places and things I've never seen before. Um, and I think it's mind blowing. But I'm going to talk you through this. This is piece number one and this is Gihon Springs. And all I was told in the beginning were the words Gihon Springs. And that was after painting had begun. And if I go close to a few things, that is the um, first temple, which was a tent, which was positioned in view of the Gihon Springs. Now, I had no clue what the Gihon Springs were to begin with. Um, you know, it made no sense to me whatsoever, um, not having lived over in Israel at all. Um, and that piece there, that piece... Um, when that appeared in the picture, it was like, what the heck is that? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm assuming it's some kind of a defense mechanism because uh, it looks a little bit like a catapult, but I don't know for sure. But what um, I was told as painting carried on is that um, this was the only water source in Jerusalem and um, they had to defend it. It was outside the city gates and they had to defend the water source. So um, that, I assume, is what that was. Now, this bit up here, I was told in my mind was a key. And after digging around on the internet, because obviously it doesn't look like a key to me, but looking around on the internet, I found out that apparently um, Egyptians had this kind of key a long time ago. And what you'd find is you'd find one part sticking out on one gate and then when it was put into the other one, um, it was slotted in to the other gate. Um, and that's how they locked things up. So there you go. Um, I think that is incredible. I still want to know what that is. Um, that there looks like an arrowhead on the i would assume that's some kind of a landmine maybe you know maybe it stops people from going in that direction because maybe they stand on it and it might hurt like heck i don't know i don't actually know what that is so if anybody does you know please do comment below and let me know um in the temple this tent um, they held the Ark of the Covenant, so um, inside the Ark was the scrolls um, of the law that was given to Moses, as far as I understand it. And uh, you can read about it all in the Bible, it's absolutely incredible. Obviously there are no pictures in the Bible or anything, this has come about through the Holy Spirit. Um, and this bird intrigued me. I'm like, what is that? And all I was told was flying phoenix. And I dug around on the internet after painting that and finding out that actually the flying phoenix is supposed to symbolise the resurrection of Jesus. So what you have here in this picture um, is basically God, his presence that would come in the temple and Jesus combined, he is the resurrection and the life. So it blows me away this. I never knew anything about the Gihon Springs before this picture came about. So it's kind of exciting for me when I've painted something that I didn't even know what I was painting. And then I dig around on the internet afterwards and I find information and stuff about it and it just it blows me away and I just wanted to share it with you I will put a picture of the Gihon Springs on the video so that you'll be able to look at it properly but there you go that's so cool and the painting actually came about I don't know if you can see those lines on there 
and it came about by a template kind of a process okay so basically um it was one of the first times of using a palette knife and these lines just were coming out first now what it is is that um i see spiritual lines ahead of the canvas okay so i'll see a line appear and it disappears after about five seconds and it's just my job to put the paintbrush or whatever it is i'm using where i see the line appear before it disappears so i'm just following around the canvas so i don't have any kind of understanding of what it is i'm painting at all so to me all of those lines and everything looked like real kind of what the heck is this um and all of the paraphernalia on top of the tent symbolizes the fact that it was royalty so jesus being the king of kings and the lord of lords and you know it was also made by king david so yeah that's really cool and the template after the lines of drawn to start off with um then the color and everything else was put on top so what i love about it is where you can see the city behind and the angle of it as well and and i think this is incredible there's some stairs that go down the side and of course i never knew anything about that but having a look around on the internet afterwards at Jerusalem and stuff yeah it's all there it's amazing it's so cool love it thank you for listening bye bye